Hello, everyone. Today we will present Magical Brush, a symbol-based modern Chinese painting system for novices. I'm Hao Renxu. This is a collaborative work with Xiao Chen in Zhang from Zhejiang University and Donghua University. Firstly, let me introduce the definition of modern Chinese paintings. Modern Chinese paintings are contemporary illustrative expression of chi traditional Chinese paintings. Here is an example to show you the difference. As we can see, compared to the traditional ones, modern Chinese paintings are with more bright colors and delicate lines. Paintings with such style are currently widely used in commercial design and interested by many young people in China. Existing AI assist tools have displayed excellent capability to assist novices in painting and other creative works. However, to assist novices in paintings, there are still issues to be addressed. For example, current AI tools rarely work in such styles like modern Chinese style. Moreover, they rarely consider the cultural factors behind creation tasks. We adhere to it that such cultural factors are important, for assistance systems should not only help novices in the painting process, but also allow them to experience the cultural behind to build a basic mental model. Here we introduce our symbol-based modern Chinese painting system. Firstly, the system is symbol-based. The definition of Chinese symbol is a unification of meaning, a subjective feeling, and objective being. For example, the symbol bamboo is an objective being in the painting, but it also conveys a meaning of confidence in Chinese culture. The feelings are subjective, however, symbols are with a characteristic of cultural accumulation. In other words, some symbols with good artistic effects are always used by the followers. This stabilizes the meaning of symbol. In such condition, we select the common symbols from 2,625 modern Chinese paintings collected manually and calculate the occurrence rate and utilization rate of them. The occurrence rate is the proportion between the number of paintings having the symbol S and the total number of paintings. The occurrence rate indicates the symbol's coverage of creation things. The utilization rate is also calculated. As the proportion of the appearance number of the symbol S and the total number of the paintings. It shows how frequently the symbol S appears in a random painting. With typical symbols of high occurrence rate and utilization rate defined above, we can cover most of the creation things and needs. Part of our statistical results on the two rates are shown in the above figure. We finally select 17 symbols to build the system. In our symbol-based co-creation process, novices are free to compose and draw by themselves, and they can also generate, edit, and learn symbol with AI, as shown in the video below. More specifically, here in step A and B, user compose the painting by themselves, and in step C and D, they draw symbols with AI. Finally, in step E, they do some supplemental drawings. The co-creation process reflects our design intention. We want novices to obtain controllability and participation in the painting. What's more, automation is also needed for their painting weaknesses. The system is designed into front-end and back-end. The front end is based on React.js framework, and the interface is divided into drawing workspace, tool menu, and side drawer. The back end consists of a series of symbol generators chained with 100,000 single symbol images, as well as a pre chained colorization model. We conduct our user study on 60 novices users. The participants are divided into three groups and they separately try a different tool, Magical Brush, Procreate, and Stable Diffusion. 
Quantitative results showed significant differences between magic brush and the progress for ease of learning, enjoyment, expressiveness, education, predictability, controllability, and satisfaction. Also, significant differences are observed between magical brush and stable diffusion for usefulness, education, predictability, controllability, and satisfaction. In qualitative results, we found that educational effects of modern Chinese paintings provided by stable diffusion and procreate are limited, and the users try magical brush basically agree that the tool can help them understand more about modern Chinese paintings. In controllability, magical brush users can make relatively detailed adjustments of symbols and determine their paintings more exactly. In participation and expression, stable diffusion users' participation is limited to text prompts, writing, and some basic model settling, like result resolutions and random seats. And Procreate is generally believed to have a full sense of participation. Magical brush users find a balance between AR assistance and their expression. In discussion and conclusion, we found that the rendering of AI is the source of inspiration for novice users. Novices are more willing to explore than professional painters. The inspiration helps them in exploration. However, it is also important to help novice users realize creative ideas after inspirations. Stable diffusion can help novices form creative ideas. However, Due to the obstacles in understanding the tool's generation logic, users will be affected by uncontrollable results when exploring new ideas. In this case, even given the inspired ideas from unpredictability, they struggle to realize the idea due to uncontrollability and, dis and thus discard the simulated inspiration. With symbols adjustments enabled, Magical Brush is more explored and has significantly higher controllability, which helps users accomplish their goals as expected after inspired. Secondly, the symbol is a prior knowledge of culture. We extend the prior assumption of symbols based on our statistical analysis of our illustrations, dataset, and user study. We believe that the insight behind Magical Brush will not be limited to modern Chinese paintings. The concepts similar to symbols can also be followed in other painting types, such as surrealism, deconstructionism, and art deco. Our research explores the idea to integrate the cultural plural in human AI co-creation in cultural fields. That's all. Thank you for listening to our presentation.